As we all know, love is a human feeling. We are all capable of feeling love in different forms and intensities. Freud used to say that love was half of the, of the life of an individual, but there existed more than one type of love. For example, couple love, which is the most extensive type of love, according to Freud. This is because that's the kind of love that people involved in it project their lives with the other person in the relationship. So, after saying that, here are a top 10 of the best love movies of all times. Number 10, The Notebook. This movie was released in, two th in 2004, in a, which in a retirement home, a man reads to a woman who suffers from Alzheimer's. The story of two young people from different social classes who fell in love during the troubled night in forests and how they were separated by third parties and by the war. The movie is in the 10th place because it teaches us not only to let go of a person you love so much, in the end, that's the decision of two, but it's worth trying. Number 9, Five Feet Apart. This movie was released in 2019. The story turns around to characters who had an illness called sciastic fibiosis that prevents them from leading a normal life and they have to be on a hospital until they get new lungs that help them live well. Stella, one of the characters, is about to get her lungs, but she meets Will. As both are sick, if they get close at more than 2 meters or 5 feet, they could get into an infection and die. But they fall in love and one day they decide to run away. And when they kiss, they both get seriously ill. Will realizes that he would only hurt Stella by being around her and lives. The movie is in the night position because it shows us that no matter how deep you in love you are, you have to be aware of the consequences and their love doesn't damage someone. Number 8. 50 First Dates One of the best Adam Sandler movies, in which he interprets a marine biologist called Henry Roth, who, after casually meeting an art teacher called Clementine Kruschke, interpreted by Kate Winslet, he falls in love with her and starts a relationship. But after the first day of meeting her, he learns that Lucy has some kind of amnesia. And obviously after learning he, this, Henry starts making her fall in love with him every day. This movie gives us a message that love is something that we shouldn't take lightly and that's something that we should constantly work on. Number 7. Midnight in Paris Gil and Ines travel to Paris as a tag-along vacation on her, pari on her parents' business trip. Gil is a successful Hollywood writer, but is struggling on his first novel. He falls in love with the city and thinks he and Ines should move there after they get married. But Ines does not share his romantic notions of the city or the idea that the 1920s were the golden age. When Ines goes off dancing with her friends, Gil takes a walk at midnight and discovers what could be the ultimate source of inspiration for writing. Gil's daily walks at midnight in Paris could take him closer to the heart of the city, but farther from the woman he's about to marry. This movie presents us with a new perspective about love and how, even though we might think we love someone, we can feel other types of love for other people. Number 6. Her Joaquin Phoenix and love for an AI? What else do you want? This 2013 movie places us in Los Angeles in the mid-2012 where a lonely man, Theodore Thombly, played by Joaquin Phoenix, falls in love with Samantha, interpreted by Scarlett Johansson, an, e an AI with similar characteristics to virtual assistants such as Alexa, Siri or Cortana. This movie gives us an important message about self-absorption in your relationships and relationships by inertia, and how to deal with not only a breakup, but also with a heartbreak. This movie is placed on number 6 for its complex message, good visuals and great story.
On the number five, we have 500 days of summer. This movie presents us with a non-linear story which takes us from the 500 days of relationship between Tom and Summer and how they used to interact and their relationship in general. This movie presents us with a different perspective of relationships and how people interact and how inertia relationships and toxic relationships work. This movie presents us with a question, who is right and wrong in this movie? That's why you should watch it. And number five, we have Me Before You. This movie was released in 2016 and it talks about a young woman who lives in a small town in England and to help her parents with money, she got a job helping a paralytic man called Will Trainer. Both start falling in love, but the personality of both contracts with the happiness of the girl and that Will wants to finish with his life because of depression. And in the end, he takes the decision and even though for Lisa, the woman, it's hard to accept it, she supports him. This movie is in the fourth place because of the way it talks about the feelings of both characters and their love and how their love helps them grow. And number three, we have The Shape of Water. This movie was really released in 2017. It talks about a woman who works in the center of a special investigation. One day she discovers that they have in there, in there a creator that looks like a mixture of amphibian and person. She falls in love with him and tries to find a way to get him free. This movie is on the third place because it's a love story that has its basis in acceptance and loving someone no matter the limitation. You don't have to follow the society rules and there's no exit limitation for love. Love has no shape. And number three, we have Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind. This 2004 movie tells the story of Joel Barish, Jim Carrey, in an interesting non-linear storytelling. This movie is happening in part inside Joel's mind, therefore having this non-linear storytelling. The main plot line on this movie is about a girl that Joel knew, Clementine, Krasinski, and their relationship during that trip. From how they got to know each other to how they erase each other from their minds. This movie is a must watch, not only for the message of love and hope that the movie gives, but also for the excellent photography and performances. And to finish, on number one, we have La La Land. This musical movie, released in 2017, it's about two people who have different dreams to accomplish. Mia is aspiring to become a famous hello. Hollywood actress, while Sebastian plays the piano in bars, hoping one day to open his jazz center. One day, they met each other and fall in love, but finally their immense love for each other made them realize that they couldn't stay together if they wanted to achieve their goals. They have to follow different paths on their life. This movie is in the first place because it shows us the true love for someone is supporting that person's dreams. We should clarify that this top 10 is based on our opinion. We are not professionals in reviewing movies, but we think that these movies have both a great design and an important psychological explanation of how love works and the different types of love. We think that these movies are great. For example, we are going to let play uh, this beautiful scene of La La Land for a while. And we truly think that La La Land deserved an Oscar. Thank you for your attention. That stretches to the sea. We stumble on a view that's tailor made for two. What a shame. Those two are you and me. Some other girl and guy Would love this swirling sky But there's only you and I And we've got no shot This could never be You're not the type for me And there's not a spark inside What a a waste of a lovely night <clears throat> The 
say there's nothing here Well, let's make something clear I think I'll be the one to make that call What's your call? And though you looked so cute in your polyester suit It's wool You're right, I'd never fall for you at all And maybe this appeals To someone not in heels Or to any girl who feels There's some chance the romance I'm frankly feeling nothing Is that so? Or it could be less than nothing Good to know, so you agree That's right What, What a waste, waste of a lovely night, night.